Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand how mutation produces new allele. We will understand this through example. Suppose we have a gene and this gene codes for enzyme. And this enzyme convert this precursor. Suppose a precursor A is there and it converts this precursor into red color and due to this red color color of flower is red so we have a gene this gene code for enzyme and this enzyme converts a precursor into red color so due to this red color, color of flower is red. So now this wild G, this wild type G, we will call it capital R. So this is capital R G. Now suppose due to any factor, any environmental factor, any stress factor, maybe anything this gene which gene this gene mutates so now this gene mutates and this precursor a is not converted into red color so due to mutation, so there is a mutation in this gene. Now due to that mutation, this gene cannot convert this A precursor into red color. If there is no red color, then color of flower will be white. So now we have another form of that gene, this capital R gene that is mutated. What we will call? We will call it small r this is mutated g and this is wild type g this capital r causes red color and this small r causes white color so before mutation actually occurred what we have we have only one form of gene that is capital OR that is causing red color. But now mutation produces another allele that is small r that causes white color. So in this way you can see that how mutation creates new alleles. Suppose we have any gene, this gene and mutation occur in that gene function of that gene may alter it may become non-functional or its function may alter so now we have alternative form of g this is called allele so so in this way mutation produces new alleles